Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and welcome to another episode of Learn New Apex in 5 minutes. Today we'll talk about webhooks. Here on my YouTube channel you have different uh, videos with webhooks. It's uh, how you com how orchestrator webhook communicate to different programs like um, Microsoft Teams um, uh, and ServiceNow. And also UiPath Studio can communicate via webhooks to different other software. But today we'll focus on how orchestrator work with um, uh, webhooks from, the uh, from with other programs. Yeah? So here, if you go to documentation on the webhooks, you will find um, details about webhooks and you have details about all the JSON, all the formats that orchestrator send, uh, uh, send, uh, send to different softwares. Yeah? For the configuration inside of your orchestrator, you will go here on the orchestrator, you will go to tenants, and you will go to webhook. You will go and create a an webhook. When you create a webhook, you have to provide a new URL or a new URL of the server that will listen to this webhook. Here, the system by default will send all the events, but you can select also individual events. You have events for jobs, you have events for queue, processes, robots, and so on. And in the majority, they use for jobs and the queue. So you can select the type of events that you want. For example, in our case, we'll select all the events for jobs. Now, you all have to provide a new URL. Let's understand how, from where I can get this URL. For me, in my example, I will go to Power Automate, I will go to My Flows, and I will create here a new flow, and I will instant close flow, and, and this one will select when an uh, HTTP request is received, yeah? And this one, it's basically, uh, uh, this will listen for the, uh, for the data. And then after we listen, let's say that I will say notification, and let's say that uh, we'll put a send uh, mobile notification, yeah? So now on this one, I have to tell him what orchestrator will, will give him. So I will provide him a, a schema to learn. So I will go here, for example, let's say that I will put on job complete. So I will search for uh, job complete, job complete, okay? And I will copy this schema, yeah? I will go and copy, I will go power automate and power automate, I will provide him the uh, the model, yeah? And from this model, Power Automate uh, will understand what uh, data will come. So the data that is coming from Orchestrator, I can put it here. Uh, this is a string, let's put it test, okay, plus, and here I have all, all the variables. So I can put here the robot name, robot, uh, so let's put it from here, the dynamical variables robot uh, name yeah i provide the the process key then uh, process key so let's say it's all the uh, the machine name for example machine name uh, the state if it's uh, in my case is completed but basically uh, i can have multiple states okay so in this way i get my information that is coming from the orchestra now when i will save this like this this will generate the URL. Remember that on the orchestrator, I have to provide him the URL. So I copy this URL, I go back to the orchestrator configuration, and paste the URL here. And when I hit save, when I hit save, I have my webhook um, uh, configured. So basically when I will run something on the orchestrator, this will trigger the power automate, and this will, uh, will generate an event. Like I said, I have here um, examples working with uh, Microsoft Teams and uh, with, uh, with ServiceNow, yeah? But that's the main idea of using webhooks. You have here the, the live demonstration if you want to see. So basically I start the, the robot on the UiPath Studio and uh, uh, on the UiPath Orchestrator and here on the, look, I and on Microsoft Teams, I see the, uh, the, the response from the robot. Yeah, so this is the way how webhook communication works, yeah? And like I said on the beginning of the video, there are also other software, not only the works that uh, have this uh, possibility of webhooks. For example, Slack has the possibility of incoming webhooks. So from your iPad Studio, you can communicate with Slack via webhooks without any special configuration and so on. So that's the idea with webhooks, how to configure the system to work with uh, webhooks. If you want, uh, uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and uh, comment to my videos and tell me what else you want to see on my channel. Thank you very much for watching uh, as usual. Thank you. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.